The Aravalli Range, also spelled Aravalli, is a mountain range in northwestern India, running approximately 692 km 430 mi in a southwest direction, starting near Delhi, passing through southern Haryana and Rajasthan, and ending in Gujarat. The highest peak is Guru Shikar at 1,722 meters 5,650 ft. The Aravalli Range, an eroded stub of ancient mountains, is the oldest range of fold mountains in India. The natural history of the Aravalli Range dates back to times when the Indian Plate was separated from the Eurasian Plate by an ocean. The Proterozoic Aravalli Delhi Orogenic Belt in northwest India is similar to the younger Himalayan type orogenic belts of the Mesozoic Cenozoic era, of the Phanerozoic, in terms of component parts and appears to have passed through a near orderly Wilson supercontinental cycle of events. The range rose in a Precambrian event called the Aravalli Delhi Origin. The Aravalli Range is a northeast southwest trending orogenic belt that is located in the northwestern part of Indian Peninsula. It is part of the Indian Shield that was formed from a series of cratonic collisions. In ancient times, Aravalli were extremely high but since have worn down almost completely by millions of years of weathering, whereas the Himalayas being young fold mountains are still continuously rising. Aravalli, being the old fold mountains, have stopped growing higher due to the cessation of upward thrust caused by the stopping of movement of the tectonic plates in the Earth's crust below them. The Aravalli range joins two of the ancient Earth's crust segments that make up the greater Indian Kraton, the Aravalli Kraton which is the Marwar segment of Earth's crust to the northwest of the Aravalli range, and the Bundelkhand Kraton segment of Earth's crust to the southeast of the Aravalli range. Cratons, generally found in the interiors of tectonic plates, are old and stable parts of the continental lithosphere that has remained relatively undeformed during the cycles of merging and rifting of continents. It consists of two main sequences formed in Proterozoic Eon, metasedimentary rock, sedimentary rocks metamorphized under pressure and heat without melting, and metavolcanic rock, metamorphized volcanic rocks, sequences of the Aravalli supergroup and Delhi supergroup. These two supergroups rest over the archean bulwara nisic complex basement, which is a nisic, high-grade metamorphism of sedimentary or igneous rocks, basement formed during the Archean Eon 4 Ga Go. It started as an inverted basin, that rifted and pulled apart into granitoid basement, initially during Aravalli passive rifting around 2.5 to 2.0 Ga years ago and then during Delhi active rifting around 1.9 to 1.6 Ga years ago. It started with rifting of a rigid Archean continent banded Nisic complex around 2.2 Ga with the coexisting formation of the Bulwara Olicogen in its eastern part and eventual rupturing and separation of the continent along a line parallel to the Rakhavdiv Rishabdev, lineament to the west, simultaneous development of a passive continental margin with the undersea shelf rise sediments of the Aravalli Jarl belts depositing on the attenuated crust on the eastern flank of the separated continent subsequent destruction of the continental margin by accretion of the Delhi island. Arc, a type of archipelago composed of an arc-shaped chain of volcanoes closely situated parallel to a convergent boundary between two converging tectonic plates, from the west around 1.5 Ga. This tectonic plates collision event involved early thrusting with partial abduction, overthrusting of oceanic lithosphere onto continental lithosphere at a convergent plate boundary, of the oceanic crust along the Rakhavdiv lineament, flattening and eventual wrenching, also called strike-slip plate fault, sideways horizontal movement of colliding plates with no vertical motion, parallel to the collision zone. Associated mafic igneous rocks show both continental and oceanic tholeitic geochemistry, magnesium and iron-rich igneous rocks, from Phanerozoic Eon, 541 to 0 million, with rift-related magmatic rock formations. The Aravalli Delhi origin is an origin event that led to a large structural deformation of the Earth's lithosphere crust and uppermost mantle, such as Aravalli and Himalayas fold mountains, due to the interaction between tectonic plates when a continental plate is crumpled and is pushed upwards to form mountain ranges, and involve a great range of geological processes collectively called orogenesis. Minerals 
The Archean basement had served as a rigid indenter which controlled the overall wedge-shaped geometry of the origin. Lithology of area shows that the base rocks of Aravali are of Maywar gneiss formed by high-grade regional metamorphic processes from pre-existing formations that were originally sedimentary rock with earliest life form that were formed during the Archean Aeon. These contain fossils of unicellular organisms such as green algae and cyanobacteria in stromatolytic carbonate ocean reefs formed during the Paleoproterozoic era. Sedimentary exolative deposits of base metal sulfide ores formed extensively along several, long, linear zones in the Bawara Olicogen or produced local concentration in the rifted Aravali continental margin, where rich stromatolytic phosphorites also formed. Tectonic evolution of the Aravali Mountains shows Maywar genus rocks are overlain by Delhi supergroup type of rocks that also have post Aravali intrusions. Metal sulfide ores were formed in two different epochs, lead and zinc sulfide ores were formed in the sedimentary rocks around 1.8 Ga years ago during Paleoproterozoic phase. The tectonic setting of zinc-lead copper sulfides mineralization in Delhi supergroup rocks in Haryana Delhi were formed in mantle plume volcanic action around 1 Ga years ago covering Haryana and Rajasthan during Mesoproterozoic. In the southern part of Aravali supergroup arc base metal sulfides were generated near the subduction zone on the western fringe and in zones of back arc extension to the southeast. Continued subduction produced WSN tungsten tin, mineralization in S-type, sedimentary unmetamorphosed rock felsic, volcanic rock plutons, underground crystallized solidified magma. This includes commercially viable quantities of minerals, such as rock phosphate, lead zinc silver mineral deposits at Zawar, Rekubdiv serpentinite, talc and pyrophyllite, and asbestos, apatite, kyanite, and beryl. Mining. Mining of copper and other metals in the Aravali range dates back to at least the 5th century BCE, based on carbon dating. Recent research indicates that copper was already mined here during the Sothi Siswal period going back to c. 4000 BCE. Ancient Kalabangan and Kunal, Haryana settlements obtained copper here. Geographical features. The Indian Kraton includes five major cratons. Cratons are part of continental crust made up of upper layer called platforms and older bottom layer called basement rocks. Shields are part of a craton where basement rock crops out at the surface and it is the relatively oldest and most stable part that are undeformed by the plate tectonics. The Aravali craton, Marwar Mewar craton or Western Indian craton, covers Rajasthan as well as Western and Southern Haryana. It includes the Mewar craton in the east and Marwar craton in the west. It is limited by the Great Boundary Fault in the east, the Thar Desert in the west, Indo-Genetic Alluvium in the north, and the Sun River Narmada River Tapti River basins in the south. It mainly has quartzite, marble, polite, griwak and extinct volcanoes exposed in the Aravali Delhi origin. Milani Igneous Suite is the largest in India and third largest igneous suit in the world. The uniqueness of the geological feature of Milani Igneous Suite at Jodhpur prompted the Geological Survey of India to declare the site as a national geological monument. Human history. The Aravali Range has been site of three broad stages of human history. Early Stone Age saw the use of flint stones, Mid Stone Age, starting from 20,000 BP, saw the domestication of cattle for agriculture, and Post Stone Age, starting from 10,000 BP, saw the development of the Kalabangan civilization, 4,000 years old Ahur civilization, and 2,800 years old Nishwar civilization, Aryan civilization, and Vedic era civilizations. Tasham Hills Indus Civilization Mines. The Tasham Hills have several Indus Valley Civilization sites in and around the hill range as the area falls under copper bearing zone of southwest Haryana and northeast Rajasthan of Aravali Hill Range. Investigation of IVC network of mineral ore needs for the metallurgical work and trade shows that the most common type of grinding stone at Harappa is of Delhi quartzite type found only in the westernmost outliers of the Aravali range in southern Haryana near Kalyana and Makanwas villages of Biwani district. The quartzite is red pink to pinkish gray in color and is crisscrossed with thin hematite and quartz filled fractures with sugary size grain texture. 
Rabindranath Singh and his team of Banaras Hindu University carried out ASI financed excavations of Indus Valley Civilization site on the grounds of the government school in Connick during 2014 and 2016. They found early to mature Harappan phase IVC materials, pottery, semi-precious beads of lapis lazuli, carnelian and others. They also found evidence of metallurgical activities, such as crucibles, used for pouring molten metal, furnace lining, burnt floor, ash and ore slugs. Ceramic, petrography, metallography, scanning electron microscope, SEM, non-destructive, surface images of nanoscale resolution, energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy, EDXA and EDXMA non-destructive, qualitative and quantitative elemental composition, and transmission electron microscopy, TEM, destructive method, scientific studies of the material found prove that the conic site was inhabited by the IVC metal workers who used the locally mined polymetallic tin, and they were also familiar with metallurgical work with copper and bronze. The lowest level of site dates back as far the pre-Harappan era to Sothi Siswal culture, 4600 BCE or 6600 BP tentatively. Ganeshwar Sunari Cultural Complex the Ganeshwar Sunari Cultural Complex, GSCC, is a collection of 3rd millennium BC settlements in the area of the Aravalli Hill Range. Among them, there are similarities in material culture, and in the production of copper tools. They are located near the copper mines. The GSCC is east of the Harappan culture, to the northeast of Ahar Banas complex, north, northwest to the Kayatha culture and at a later date, west of the OCP copper hoard sites, ochre colored pottery culture copper hoard culture. Located within the regions of the Aravalli Hill Range, primarily along the Kantli, Sabi, Soda, Dohan and Bondi rivers, the GJCC is the largest copper-producing community in 3rd millennium BC South Asia, with 385 sites documented. Archaeological indicators of the GSCC were documented primarily in Jaipur, Junjunu, and Sikar districts of Rajasthan, India. Pottery found in the area include incised ware, and reserved slipware. There are two main type sites, Ganeshwar, and Sunari, in Tessal Kotputli, Jaipur district. Ecology. Wildlife corridors. Green Wall of India. The Great Green Wall of Aravalli, is a 1,600 km long and 5 km wide green ecological corridor along Aravalli Range from Gujarat to Delhi. It will be connected to Shivalik Hill Range and 1.35 billion, 135 crore, new native trees will be planted over 10 years to rehabilitate the forest cover in this area. To be implemented on a concept similar to the Great Green Wall of Sahara in Africa, it will act as a buffer against pollution, 51% of which is caused by the industrial pollution, 27% by vehicles, 8% by crop burning and 5% by Diwali fireworks. Northern Aravalli Leopard and Wildlife Corridor the Sariska Delhi Leopard Wildlife Corridor or the Northern Aravalli Leopard Wildlife Corridor is a 200 km long important biodiversity and wildlife corridor which runs from the Sariska Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan to Delhi Ridge. This corridor is an important habitat for the Indian leopards and jackals of Aravalli. In January 2019, the Wildlife Institute of India announced that they will undertake the survey of leopard and wildlife, using pug marks and trap cameras. Subsequently, leopards and jackals will be tracked via the radio collars. Urban development, especially the highways and railways bisecting the Aravalli Range and Wildlife Corridor in several places pose a great risk. Large parts of Aravalli are legally and physically unprotected, with no wildlife passages and little or no wildlife conservation work resulting in deaths of over 10 leopards in four years between January 2015 to January 2019. The Haryana side of the Gurugram Faridabad Aravalli Hill Forest's lack availability of water due to which wild animals are seldom seen there. The government of Haryana used drones for aerial surveys and dug 22 ephemeral pits in 2018 to store the rainwater which became dry during the summer months. In January 2019, the government announced the plan to make the pit perennial by connecting those with pipelines from the nearby villages. 
Human activity, such as unplanned urbanization and polluting industrial plants, also pose a great threat. There is often reluctance and denial on part of the government officials of the presence of wildlife such as leopards so that the forest land can be exploited and opened up for the intrusive human development. This habitat is under serious threat from the wrong actions of the government of Haryana which in 2019 passed the amendment to the Punjab Land Alienation Act, 1900 PLPA. Governor has given his assent for the act, but it has not yet been notified by the Haryana government, hence it is in limbo and has not officially become a law. This amendment will reduce the Haryana's Natural Conservation Zones NCZs, by 47% or 60,000 acres from 122,113.30 hectares to only 64,384.66 hectares. This is in violation of multiple guidelines of the Supreme Court of India as well as NCR Planning Board NCRPB, notification which states the original 122,113.30 hectares ecologically sensitive forest of South Haryana is a forest. The major natural features, identified as environmentally sensitive areas, are the extension of Aravali Ridge in Rajasthan. Haryana and NCT Delhi, forest areas, rivers and tributaries. Major lakes and water bodies such as Badkal Lake, Siraj Kund and Damdama in Haryana sub-region. This area as part of Northern Aravali Leopard and Wildlife Corridor is an important habitat for the leopards in Haryana. Fauna. The Aravali Range is rich in wildlife. The first ever 2017 wildlife survey of a 200 square kilometer area crossing five districts Gurgaon, Faridabad, Mwat, Rewari and Mahendragar, of Haryana by the Wildlife Institute of India, we found 14 species, including leopards, striped hyena, seven sightings, golden jackal, nine sightings, with 92% occupancy across the survey area, Nilgai, 55 sightings, palm civet, seven sightings, wild pig, 14 sightings, Rhesus macaque, 55 sightings, peafowl, 57 sightings, and Indian crested porcupine, 12 sightings. Encouraged by the first survey, the Wildlife Department has prepared a plan for a comprehensive study and census of wildlife across the whole Aravali range, including radio collar tracking of the wild animals. Well-known leopard and hyena habitat is along the Ferozpur Jirka Na Aravali Range as well as Delhi South Ridge Faridabad Gurugram to Farooknagar area on the Delhi Haryana border, with reports of sightings in Saidpur, Blakri and Jun Sarai Viran villages near the KMP Expressway. Bukarka 7 km from Patauta, Pathkori, Bond, Mandawar in Ferozapur Jirka region. Concerns in May 1992, some parts of the Aravali Hills in Rajasthan and Haryana were protected from mining through the ecologically sensitive areas clauses of Indian laws. In 2003, the central government of India prohibited mining operations in these areas. In 2004, India's Supreme Court banned mining in the notified areas of Aravali Range. In May 2009, the Supreme Court extended the ban on mining in an area of 448 square km across the Faridabad, Gurgaon and Mwat districts in Haryana, covering the Aravali Range. A 2013 report used high-resolution CARTOSAT-1 and LIS-IV satellite imaging to determine the existence and condition of mines in the Aravali Range. In the Guru Gram district, the Aravali Hills occupy an area of 11,256 hectares, of which 491, 4.36%, hectares had mines, of which 16 hectares, 0.14%, were abandoned flooded mines. In the Faridabad and Mwat districts, about 3,610 hectares were part of mining industry, out of a total of 49,300 hectares. These mines were primarily granite and marble quarries for India's residential and real estate construction applications. In the central Rajasthan region, Sharma states that the presence of some mining has had both positive and negative effects on neighboring agriculture and the ecosystem. The rain-induced erosion brings nutrients as well as potential contaminants. Economy 
The Aravalli Range is the source area of many rivers, resulting in development of human settlements with sustainable economy since prehistoric times. The Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project, Western Dedicated Freight Corridor, Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor, Northwestern Railway Network, Jaipur Kishangar Expressway, and Delhi Jaipur Expressway all run parallel to the length of the Aravalli Range, providing an economic boost. Thank <laughs> you.